Hello ladies and gents. In our UI5 applications we will be using the MVC design pattern. There are already really nice blog posts or videos explaining the MVC pattern, but it still didn't feel right to skip this, so let me give you a quick overview what MVC is and how it works basically. So it stands for Model View Controller Design Pattern and it basically divides an application into three semantic parts. First one being the model, which holds our application data. So let's say we have a list of products in our application that we want to show the user. So our model will hold that data in a, maybe a JSON format, could be XML, or it could come from a remote server. Also, uh, we don't have to display the data to the user. We can also have other parts of data that we use for our application internally. You can think of this model like a state in React if you have worked with uh, React before. And the next part is the view, which presents our data to the user. For example, we can show a list of our products, which is held inside our model like this. And then the last part is the controller part, which uh, will be implemented by JavaScript and it has the logic basically to manipulate our model. For example, we have a UI5 module here and it has a function called add product. Now let's see how it would work. In order, first the user would interact with the view. Let's say they click on this plus button in the header of our list and then they invoke this add product function in our controller to add a new product. Then our controller would manipulate our model by adding a new product to our list, like so. And then this update of this model will automatically update the view as well. And in the view, the user sees the newly created product as well. So in the following videos, we will adjust our logic and folder structure accordingly for this MVC design pattern and it will be much more clear how it works. I will see you there.